Bukaya, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, just uh, getting ready for dinner. I'm eight hours ahead of you. I'm in Malaysia right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's morning here, so I was just thinking, what? <laughs> <laughs> I know, you probably had a coffee or tea, whatever you, you like to have for your breakfast, and I'm getting ready to head to bed in a few hours. But uh, <laughs> have you been to this part of the world before? Malaysia? Yeah, or Southeast Asia? No. Never? Never, no. Well, hopefully when uh, coronavirus dies off, then hopefully you can come out to this region because Arsenal have been here many times and we hope to have you as part of the squad that travels here for some preseason stuff. But let's look at your 2020. It's been amazing for you. Playing for the first team, your England debut, being shortlisted for the Golden Boy. How has it been in your in your mind? It's It's been a roller coaster. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's been a roller coaster. I would say it's been fun. You know, it's been... A year that I've I'll always remember, you know, I've a lot of achievements. Like you said, nominated for a Golden Boy, England debut, and just playing more and more games for Arsenal Football Club. You know, those three things are just three things that a kid dreams of. So, yeah, I can say I'm happy with my 2020, but I need to to try and make sure I have a better 2021. Was it as you expected when you stepped into the first team? I mean, the gulf is massive from when you're just in the squad to suddenly being a regular? Yeah, well, um, I try to, I have high expectations on myself. You know, I set goals for myself and I always try to, to keep working and working until I achieve these goals. And when I achieve them, I set new ones. So, you know, I wouldn't say it was um, a surprise or I wouldn't say, you know, stuff like this, but I would say that I've been working for it and I'm just happy that I've, I'm here and I just want to continue to work and achieve more. What kind of goals did you set? Because last year you got double assists, you got goals in multiple competitions, although I think you had to wait a while for your first Premier League goal. You were scoring in other competitions before that. Yeah, that was one of them, scoring the Premier League. Um, another one was making my England debut. So it's stuff like this and, you know, I just keep working and working until I achieve it. And that's why you see me always focus and always giving my all on the pitch because I have stuff to achieve. Coming from the academy, being an Arsenal boy, do you find that winning a game means more to you than somebody else? Do you find that a defeat hurts you more than anybody else just because it's in your DNA, it's ingrained in you, it's in your heart? Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. I, I can't talk for other people, but, you know, I feel like when Arsenal, when we don't win, it, it really pains me. You know, the other days, it's really, it's really hurtful. To me, you can see after the game when I was just, on the floor just distraught you know even my family you know we come home it's, everyone's just so upset because you know Arsenal's it's our club you know it's in our it's in our blood we've grown up here and you know it's just it just means everything to us can anybody talk to you after a defeat or are you are you a silent type no nah, only my I think only my family can really talk to me you know other people they have to probably wait till the next day <laughs> Since uh, making your debut, you've played in a few positions, noticeably as a left back last season. Which position would you feel gets the best out of you? What's your preference? I like playing on the wing. That's where I've grown up playing, really. But, you know, since I've come into the, to playing first team, I've played so much more different positions and I've, I've liked them. You know, I haven't really played as much in those positions and I've seen that I can play them. So, you know, I'm still excited to keep playing new positions and learning all the time. You... Given the number seven on the back of your shirt, of your jersey, it's a symbolic number. What's the first thing that comes to your mind with that number seven, apart from yourself? Probably Cristiano Ronaldo. Cause, you know, Ronaldo? Yeah, he was my idol growing up. So, you know, he wore number seven, he CR7. You know, I was just, it was a dream for me to be given that number seven. And, you know, I just want to try and try and achieve some things that he's achieved, you know, and especially for my club as well to wear number seven. I want to try and achieve big things for this club because they've, they've showed a lot of faith in me, giving me that number because of all the legends that have worn it before me. Yeah, because I think of Perez, Robert Perez, legend. Maybe a bit before your time. You might be a bit young to remember him. No, I remember <laughs> him. I've trained with him. He's, he's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Um, being one of the youngest in the team, who's been your mentor? in the side? Who's taking you under their wing? 
Well, there's many mentors. Um, I can name a few. Aubameyang, um, David Luiz, um, Lacar, you know, all of them. They're just good characters that as soon as you arrive, you know, these are the like big names that the kids look up to. You know, they try to make you feel normal like you're one of them. So they always, they all took me under, under their wing and just encouraged me, especially on the pitch when anything happened, they would come support me, tell me, encourage me. So it was, it was good for them and I'm grateful to all of them. There's a few players who've come through the ranks as well, all young like yourself. Who's your best mate? Um, I don't know. I have a lot of best mates, you know, but in the in the first team, you know, it's probably all the, the academy boys that I'm closest with because it's them who I've grown up with. How do you like to unwind away from football? It can't just dominate your life 24-7. You have to be able to switch off. So what do you like to get up to? Um... It depends how much time I have, you know. I, would, I like shopping, um, play my PlayStation with my with my boys or with my brother. Um, yeah, I like to play games, whether it's board games with my family, like Monopoly, stuff like this. I like watching Netflix and sleeping as well. I like sleeping. I think we all love to sleep, but we don't get enough of it. Athletes are supposed to get a full eight hours to recover properly. But what are you playing your PlayStation? Because I just got this. Oh, you got it? <laughs> yeah, I got lucky. The PS5 playing some Call of Duty in it. What about yourself? Yeah, I play all the games. Call of Duty, NBA, FIFA. I used to play Fortnite. I don't play it anymore. But yeah, I play all, all different games. There's a new update coming out tomorrow for Call of Duty. If you want to get back into it, by the way. The updates are so big, though. Yep. This is the season update for Black Ops Cold War. No, I haven't played Cold War yet. I haven't um, downloaded it yet. I've been playing Warzone. Warzone. Okay, well, it'll be updated as well with the new weapons from Cold War. So there's a lot of things happening. Look out for it tomorrow. Too much detail to get into. Um, final quick fire questions for you. I just want to know a few things. What was the first football match that you can remember watching in a stadium? Um, I think it was Man United Newcastle. Man United Newcastle? Yeah. I went to, oh, my dad was a Newcastle fan. You know, he liked Alan Shearer growing up. So he would, he would take us to Newcastle um, to watch that game. Fantastic stadium as well. Great fans. What's the, uh, the first CD or album or single that you can remember getting or purchasing? Well, um, that's a long time ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, first CD or album? Why can't I remember this? Is it embarrassing? I remember. No, I remember. I used to get those. Um, from what's it called again? Block is it Blockbuster? The now fifty six. Yes, yes, with the all the different. Um, like the, top, it, like the yeah, the top area. top fifty or top twenty or something like this. I think it was one of those. Yeah, I think I'm the same as you. To be fair, that's how long it's been around. Uh, what was your debut like what do you remember how are you feeling inside um my debut was in um i think the country was ukraine it was against Vos voskla in the europa league but wow it was so cold you know it was the probably the coldest place i've ever been to in my life and i was on the bench i had myself in like a rucksack to keep me warm and i was just so eager to get on you know i was watching all the boys um i think that night joe willett scored his first arsenal goal Mill scored his first Arsenal goal. So it was nice to see everyone doing well, watching them from the bench, but I was eager to get on and I got on in the end. So it was amazing just to, to run around for a bit and make my debut for Arsenal. You're an Arsenal boy through and through. I'm sure you, you would have gotten some jerseys when you were younger. Do you, did you ever have a name on the back? And if so, who was the first name you put? Um, no, nah, I put my own name on the back oh, of my yeah? shirt. Yeah, I had an Arsenal, sh uh, Arsenal kit and I put my, my own name. My, name. my dad got it for me. That's a premonition of what would happen in the future because now people are buying a jersey with your name on the back. Uh, it's unbelievable. When I think about it, I just, it's just unbelievable. You're right, I have no words. I have no words to, to say. It's just amazing, you know. I hope your phone didn't break, by the way. I think that was your phone that fell no, down. I I my phone. Okay. <laughs> um, final thing, because my time is almost up. I've got about 50 seconds. Do you have a message for all the Arsenal fans um, 
from from your heart about how perhaps you're hoping to turn things around for Arsenal's form so far this season and put everything back on track? Um, well, Arsenal fans know that I always give my all for the club when I'm on the pitch, always do my best to, to make them happy and repay the faith that they've shown in me and all the love that they've shown in me. You know, as a team, we're working together on the pitch. I can tell you that from really honest, that we're all working so hard and we all want to make this right, you know, just need to to just keep going, you know, keep focused, you know, these games we should be winning and, you know, I feel like once we we get one win, we'll, we'll start to pick up a few and build some momentum, but, yeah, the times are going to change and we're going to start winning games, 100%. Brilliant. All the best for the rest of the season and we'll speak to you again soon. Thank you.